YouTube, it's the Eric Volby, and it's time to get dangerous with the Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. Okay, my opponent is Jirachi Pones. Really good battler. Um, I think he's very undersub. I actually put him on my wall, you know, just because he's actually that good. I actually sub to him. I enjoy his videos. You know, he's really good. I would very, I'd recommend him. Link will be in the description on this one. So let's get to the battle. Um, he led off with his Swan or whatever. Then switch on to Miltank. Miltank to take the fake out. Well, I taunt just seeing, you know, maybe he's going to predict my switch, go for the Thunder Wave or something. Yeah, that's one to play safe. So, now I predict his switch, knowing that, Nito, I mean, Milk Tank can't do anything to Conjondo. So I go for the U-turn, and I go into my Scarfed Heracross. And not knowing what this you Neo know, King was, I was like, okay, I gotta stand, I gotta try it. If it's on suspect, it shouldn't kill, then I should be able to kill off with the Earthquake. So I get the Moxie boost, which is amazing. Scarfed Heracross Moxie is just... So now I go for the Earthquake, it hits him that I'm Scarfed really hard now, he's like, oh shit. And now he, I think he outspeeds? Nope, I, he, it doesn't, I, ah, I can't talk. Alright, he still doesn't outspeed me, and I kill him off with another Earthquake, I get my Moxie. So now he's in a very tight spot, and now he goes into a good counter. I switch out, predicting the Gale, and he goes for the Skull. I guess predicting my switch and wanting to hit anything with that game in. He burns my Natarate. That doesn't really matter. I mean, yeah, now a Power Whip won't really hurt. But Natarate, the, you don't really need to attack with it. You can stall out. I go for the Thunder Wave and I was like, whoa, what? You can paralyze electric types? I honestly didn't know that. I just, it's never happened to me. And I've never done it. But it works. So he goes for the Bug Buzz. I sting in knowing I could take it. Knowing that it's neutral, knowing that that thing's gonna back for a special attack. So I'm taking burn damage, and I'm like, okay, I want to save my Natarite. I know what he's going for. So I go into Infernape, he goes for the Bug Buzz, and that does Shido because it is X4 resisted. So I go for the Choice Banded Flare Blitz. I will say, I do feel very bad. He is using a very, very UU team, you know, and I'm OU whoring. I think I was testing out like one poke. So now he. I guess thinks he can take the Flare Blitz, and I guess for some reason, I'm like, okay, he can take the Flare Blitz. So I go into Natore, just playing safe, because I'm not in the mood for my friend to go for Flare Blitz, almost die, him milk drink. I'm not in the mood for that. So he goes for the Seismic Toss, I am low enough that he can kill me because of the burn, and that works amazing for him. So his milk tanks out, and I'm like, you know what, SR-71, unlike. And, well, he switches into a special wall. But guess what this Latios does? It dances! Alright, so, yeah. This is actually a physical dragon dancing Latios. You have no idea how good and how much surprise factor is behind this thing. Alright, so he goes for a reflect, and I'm like, okay, reflect, what's that gonna do? So I go for the dragon claw, and look at this, that's, look at that, that's respectable damage right there. Reversing on is a very bulky poke, I think that's respectable damage. So, seeing how much the Leaf Boy does, um, knowing I have Life Orb to put into account here, I go for Nard Dragon Dance, and he goes in the Milk Tank, I'm like, okay, okay, we can play this game, we can play this game. So I'm like, alright. Alright, he really can't do that much to me. So, let's go for a Zen Headbutt, and I miss, I'm like, fuck. There goes my sweet. I, that's what I get for wanting to flinch, like, I'll go for the Zen Headbutt wanting to flinch. I'm not gonna lie, you know, if I go for a Zen Headbutt, I'm probably gonna try to flinch you. I think that does a very respectable amount of damage to the milk tank. So he goes for a seismic toss, and now Reflect goes down. And that's really what I was waiting for. You know, I would have loved not to be paralyzed because I could have done so much more. But now I go for the plus three Dragon Claw, and down goes the milk tank. I died on my life war, but I think that's pretty good. I crippled one poke and killed an arrow with my Latios. You know, Reflect, he was just very fortunate. That's the best way to live. So now I go into Heracross, I go for the Flamethrower, and that doesn't kill. Oh, <laughs> shit, go in my, I go in my Zoroark and go for the Flamethrower, and it doesn't kill. I'm like, how bulky is this thing? Like, seriously? Seriously, modest Zoroark can't kill? So now he goes into his Swan, and I'm like, oh, alright, what can this thing do? So I'm predicting the Gale. Um, our Hurricane. I mean, the Gale's on score. So, just let my Conjardo take it. It's here that I still can't really call his item. I'm guessing it's Choice Specs. I mean, Scarf. But I'm also knowing Zoroark's quicker. So I go for the Night Days. And that is enough to take out that Swan. And I win the game. 
That was a very good match, Jay. You know what? Look at the team. You know, you have time. Look at the team right here. I have a Latios. I have a Heracross. I have a Zoroark. I have an Ape. I have an Iron And I have Kajando. All those folks are pretty OU whoring. Look what he has. What what on here is OU whoring? Verzion. Really? You know, you know, I'll I'll give the guy a lot of credit. That was a very good game. He played very well. And I think you guys should go check him out. Alright. So this is the Eric Will be signing out. I will catch you guys later. I should have an update video up today about something. If you look at my sub you'll know what it is. And you'll know what's gonna start. Alright, so I'll catch you guys later. Peace.